the start of a beautiful romantic day. This is my screensaver. <laughs> I think it's just really beautiful. So yeah, I'm just sitting here sipping my tea, morning tea. It's about 7.30 a.m. and I've been up since probably 4.30. <laughs> Woke up early today and then I happened to see the banner show on live so hopped on there and really enjoyed it had some fun if you ever want to check that out the david banner show or just david banner or david banner uh fe for flat earth so it's a real interesting channel and the chats are extremely interesting but I just went outside uh, to put my herbs left over from this tea here that I, when I steep, or when I strained it, after I steeped it, took the herbs out in the pot of water and dumped them on my flowers out front. So I rotate all the different flowers and plants, putting my herbal tea grounds on them every day. I've had great luck with things growing uh, by doing this. Anyway, I noticed the gal across the street putting her little ones in the car as she's getting ready to head out to go to work. And I just felt so sorry for her. You know, seven o'clock in the morning having to drag her children out and take them to the daycare and head off to work. And it, it makes me sad to see that. And it's just happening so much, of course, everywhere. The young girls and women are having to work now. Young mothers have to work. Try to have two incomes nowadays to live decently. And of course, then if they're a single mom, that makes it way worse. My daughter is a single mother now, uh, the one who lives in the States here. And she has a baby, and she's having to work two jobs. And, you know, juggle all that around. It's, it's not going to last forever. She's not going to be working two jobs forever. But for several months now, she's been doing this. Not several, but I guess you'd say a few months. It's been necessary. And it's real sad for me to see that happening. But a lot of... A lot of stuff like that's going on right now. A lot of people don't even have jobs anymore and are becoming homeless. So we have to do what we have to do, right? not easy for young mothers these days at all in any way shape or form it's not easy to have a baby right now either it's very difficult seems to me like it's harder than it used to be harder than it was when I had my children so much more to deal with with the medical system and the laws and the codes and the rules and and all the things, all the procedures and things that they're doing to a pregnant mother and an unborn baby and then after the baby's born also all kinds of things start up to take them down a path of problems and 
ill health and diseases. So my heart goes out to the young mothers and the babies and the children every day. Every day is heavy on my heart. And I'm looking and watching and listening and paying attention to what's happening to our children and our babies. I hope you have some sunshine like this here in your day and some blue in the sky <laughs> today, Saturday. And hope you're having some fun. Much love. Take care.